Hello, my name is Alan Larson and I am a Technical Services Manager with the Reliable Automatic Sprinkler Company. Today, we are going to walk through the setup procedure for the Reliable Type D Double Interlock Pre-Action System. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to review Technical Bulletin 750, which will give you an overview of the installation and setup instructions for this system. The Type D is an electric-electric double interlock system that incorporates a normally closed electric solenoid valve in combination with the system's low air pressure supervisory switch to release the system. The Type D system is one of 10 trim variations available for use with our model DDX deluge valves which have been installed worldwide for over a decade. Features of the model DDX include an external reset which saves time during commissioning and while doing routine maintenance. The system utilizes a pneumatic pressure of 10 PSI, which reduces compressed air or nitrogen requirements while improving water delivery times. Now, I will demonstrate the step-by-step -step procedure to set up the reliable Type D double interlock pre-action system. Close the main water control valve and close the valves supplying air or nitrogen to the sprinkler system. Close the pushrod chamber supply valve. Open the main drain valve and fully drain the system. Open all drain valves and vents at low points throughout the system, closing them when fully drained. If you are resetting the system as the result of a fire, now is the time to inspect and replace any portion of the system that was subject to fire conditions. Open the emergency manual release valve to relieve pressure in the pushrod chamber. With the alarm line valve open, Push in the plunger of the ball drip valve and drain the alarm line, then close the alarm line valve. With the emergency manual release valve open, push in and rotate the external reset knob counterclockwise, as viewed from the front of the DDX valve, until the clapper releases and lowers into position. Note, the reset knob cannot be rotated with the pushrod chamber pressurized. Close the main drain valve. Close the solenoid valve by resetting the release control panel. Note, all detectors and manual pull stations must be in a normal state before the panel can be reset. Open the pushrod chamber supply valve and allow water to flow through the pushrod chamber. Purge all air from the actuation piping. Then close the emergency manual release valve and allow hydraulic pressure to build in the pushrod chamber. Open the air maintenance device quick fill valve and restore supervisory pressure in the sprinkler system. Allow the pressure to build to 10 PSI as specified in Technical Bulletin 750, then set the pneumatic supply to automatic operation. Open the alarm line valve. Slightly open the main drain valve. Slowly open the main water control valve until water can be heard flowing from the main drain, then close the main drain valve. Observe if water leaks through the ball drip valve. If no leak occurs, the model DDX deluge valve clapper is sealed. Slowly open the main water control valve until fully open and verify that it is properly monitored. Verify that the pushrod chamber supply valve and alarm line valve are open. The pushrod chamber supply valve must remain open when the model DDX deluge valve has been reset to maintain water pressure in the pushrod chamber. 
Secure the handle of the emergency manual release valve in the closed position with the cable ties provided with the trim. Verify that all valves are in the correct positions. Advise the owner, authority having jurisdiction, and any other concerned parties that the system has been placed into service. Should you have any questions regarding the Model DDX valve, the Type D trim, or any other products manufactured by Reliable, please call our technical services team at 1-800-557-2726 or you can reach us by email at techserve at reliablesprinkler.com. Thank you for choosing Reliable as your one source for all your fire protection needs.